you've got to check this out, right? It's the Clive Sutton VIP taxi, and it's a little bit like John Travolta's Boeing 737, because on the outside, it just looks like normal everyday public transport, but it's been completely refitted on the inside to appeal to the rich and famous. It's going to blow your mind. Buy, sell, car, wow. Before I get in, I better take off my muddy boots because I don't want to make a mess of this expensive interior. Have a look at this. It's not like any taxi you've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> so this one is kitted out in really soft, luxurious cream leather, which incidentally comes from Bentley. This is the same leather you get in Bentleys. Lovely. The way they've actually built this thing is pretty good as well. So the quality is impeccable. I am impressed. I've had a good look around the cabin and the only bit that I can see, which isn't perfect, is here. Stitching is a little bit wonky, but then I guess it's been done by a human, not a robot. So there's loads of electrical features in this car. So I've got the engine running to charge the batteries so that I can show you them operating. And one of the things I want to show you first are these two seats. So they're an optional upgrade, £22,000 if you want two seats here in the back. As standard, you get three seats here and the normal two seat fold down seats that you get in taxis there. So let me show you what these seats can do. They actually come from a Volvo. Do you recognise the shape of them? That part's Volvo. The lower part isn't because you have some under calf support. So you can alter the angle of the chair, you can raise up this part here to rest your legs on, and then you can do the backrest as well. And it is really, really comfortable. That is lovely. And if you want to do a bit of work, you can lift this up and out comes your table here. Now these tables come from a Maybach. <laughs> so you've got leather from a Bentley, tables from a Maybach. And once again, lovely feeling high quality leather, absolutely wonderful. Let's put that away, oh, there we go. Here you've got your window switches there for lowering your windows. And under here, the all important thing, you have a fridge for your bottle of champagne. Now this is Prosecco and someone's drunk it. This fridge really works and it gets very, very cold. A couple of cup holders there as well. You've got your climate control here. There's a button for speaking to the driver. And one of my favorite features, this button controls the roof. So if I press it, it goes more opaque to stop the sun coming in. So you don't have a shade, you just press this button and the glass actually just blanks out. Really, really nice. Other things I want to show you, well, actually, let me just put my chair back. Yeah, is this. You can get a screen here, and this one is fitted with Apple TV, so you can watch movies and stuff like that. That is a £4,000 upgrade. Then this car has another upgrade, which is the Bluetooth speaker system, so you can see these speakers around here. You can just connect your phone to it dead easy and play Spotify through the system in here. All very nice. Some other things we've got on this car. Look down here, it has its own little umbrellas, which match the interior. I must say these feel a little bit cheap compared to the rest of the interior of this taxi. It's like they got them off Amazon. Put this back. As with any taxi, there's the all important tissues there. And then there's various pockets and stuff like that where you can store bits and pieces as well. There's also down here, you've got your seat heating and your USB ports. There is so much you can do to customize this car just as you want it. So I'm going to jump into the front and show you some of the different options that you can have this interior trimmed out with. So here's the swatch for the leather options. Look, look at all the different colors of leather. <laughs> You're gonna go for that, or maybe that. Well, how about green? I quite like green. I mean, this is insane. There's just so much choice, so much choice. And then there's more choice for the headlining. <laughs> look at all this. And for the inserts in the doors and stuff like that, there's lots of different wood choices, carbon fiber, look. <laughs> Look at this car, it's like something from the 70s. Then if you want something a bit more subtle, then something like a table at your grand's house, something a bit more contemporary. There are so many choices here. What you should do is follow the link I'll put in the description to go to Clive Sutton's website where you can configure this and you get like this 3D animation of your creation. It'll also let you see the cost. You see, the starting price for the taxi itself is £64,000. Then for the entry-level version of the Clive Sutton VIP taxi, like with all the leather interior and stuff like that, 
that's an extra £30,000 on top. This one, which has so much kit on it, is £130,000. But you could get one that's even more. So go to that configurator and see how expensive you can make your taxi. Now, one of the good things about it is that even the driver experiences some of the luxury. So look, there's leather in here as well. Leather on the doors. Even the bit where you put the money for the taxi driver, that's trimmed in leather. But the rest of it is just like the normal LEVC vehicle. So it's based on the Volvo. So you've got like a Volvo steering wheel. You've got Volvo seats, which are very comfortable. You've got the Volvo gear selector. You've got the old Volvo infotainment system as well. You've got the Volvo start stop there. Whoop easy now and the digital driver's display it's actually all right you've got a place here for your cup you've got somewhere for your phone you have some storage under here with your usbs and your 12 volt socket you've also got some door bins down here which are a decent size and there's plenty of adjustment in the driver's seat and it's electric as well and there's a decent amount of adjustment in the steering wheel as well well, when I can find the release. There we go. And bits do feel expensive, like the rear view mirror, the headlining up here, you've got light controls as well. It's quite nice. But what happens if you need to carry your VIP's luggage? So herein lies a problem with this luxury taxi compared to something like a Mercedes Maybach. In fact, if you want to see my full in-depth video review of the latest Mercedes Maybach, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Right, you ready for it? The boot. That's it. It's got a spare wheel in it, cable for charging. And so your luggage space is confined to this area here. And that brings me on to five annoying things about this luxury taxi. You get a lot of reflections in this Perspex divider screen. And when you're looking in the rear view mirror, it distorts what you can see out of the back window. So if you look in there, you'll see exactly what I mean. I'll just run round to the back. See? It's not the best view out. Depending on the seating configuration you go for, you do sometimes lose the taxi's wheelchair carrying capabilities, which does just reduce its usability somewhat. As with many other plug-in hybrids, it's unlikely you'll get close to the claim economy figures. So this taxi is supposed to do 330 miles to the gallon. The reality of what I've achieved? A tenth of that. 32.9 to be precise. Because this particular car has Apple TV, I can't connect my Android phone to it. So if you are an Android fan like me, you can always ask Clive Sutton to fit an Android compatible device to this screen instead, such as a Google Chromecast, then you'll be fine. What you may be able to change though is the fact that front infotainment system, it doesn't have Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto at all. Because you get the same screen divider as you get in a normal taxi, there's always this cut out there so the driver can take the money. That means that the driver, if they want to, can listen into your conversations just about if they're really keen on ear wigging. However, if that's a problem for you, you can pay Kai Sutton for another divider, but then it's actually not transparent. So while the driver won't be able to hear, you won't be able to see it at the front to the divider, which is a bit annoying. However, that does bring on to five cool things about this car. For instance, you have an intercom system here in the front and in the back, so you can talk clearly to the driver. And while the driver can listen in on you if you press that button, you can just cut them off so you don't have to hear them or their radio or whatever. If you pay Clive Sutton an extra £10,000, he will fit this taxi with the motorised door hinges off a Rolls-Royce Go, so at the touch of a button, they will shut automatically for that pop luxury feel. So cool. Love that feature. Okay, it must come clean. This car isn't fitted with that particular facility, so we had to fake it. Thought I'd better come clean. Well, because they gave the game away. Another thing I can't show you because this car isn't fitted with it is the fact that you can actually get a forward facing camera which will display the road ahead on this screen. So if you're the kind of person that likes those nose cams that get on planes when you're on a business class flight, you probably want to spec that feature. Even though this taxi has been modified, you still get the full LEVC three year 120,000 mile warranty. And all the extras that Clive Sutton fits are warranted by his company as well for three years. The taxi comes with ambient lighting as standard and you control it using this remote. And you can cycle through different colours using this colour wheel. Ooh, 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 lovely. Or if you want to have a party, you can put it into pulsating disco mode. Oh. Just swipe out already. As well as the inside, you can make some changes to the outside of the taxi, though they are more subtle and you have to pay extra for them. For instance, if you don't want the plaque 
where your taxi license goes because you don't have a taxi license, you can remove it. So that's an extra £700 and you can still see the indentation in the bumper. Moving down the side, rear privacy glass, which you're going to want. That's an extra £700. Also, on the normal taxi, these bits are just in kind of like cheap feeling plastic. If you want them painted in this gloss black, that's an extra £800. And if you don't want the normal black grill, you can pay Clive Sutton an extra £400 to have it in chrome. Now let's have a look under the bonnet. Oh, oh, oh where's the release? There it is. Ah, so. What we have here is a 1.5 litre turbocharged petrol engine which puts out 90 horsepower. Now that doesn't actually drive the wheels, it's actually just acting as a generator to charge a 22 kilowatt hour battery. And that battery then powers an electric motor which has 150 horsepower. And that's mounted on the rear axle. Shall we find out what this thing is like to drive? But before we do, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. Because I'm going to be doing some more interesting reviews like this car. Anyhow, let's see what it's like to drive this car and be driven in it. The first thing I've done is gone straight for a pothole and there's another one because I need to test the suspension and I can confirm the suspension is nice and comfortable. So what's also nice, this raised driving position is brilliant. It's better than in an SUV. Got a great view forward, big mirror so I can see all around me. Lovely. The brakes, well, they regenerate the battery as you brake, but they're not too grabby like they are in some other cars. But the best bit is the turning circle, just a little over eight meters, which means I can turn around in this gap, which I wouldn't be able to in any other car because that tractor's parked there. But look, no bother. Look at this, this is brilliant. It's so good. It's two meters shorter turning circle than a Volkswagen Golf. It's insane. You're able to do that because it's rear wheel drive. The motor's on the back axle, so there's no drive shafts going to the front wheels like there is on a Volkswagen Golf, which is front wheel drive. I mean, it's just so good. I'm just going to just drive around in circles like a complete maniac. Look at this. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, you go. You go. You go. No, I'll go. No, I'll go. I'll go. No, I'm going to go this way. Yeah, so easy to drive round. Now all I've got to do is look for some fares. Anybody need a lift in the poshest taxi in the world? Did you order a taxi? No, It's, it's the world's most luxurious taxi. <laughs> it, oh, don't you laugh. Have a look, have a look. Open the door, have a look inside. Have a look. What? Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you think of that? I mean, yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? I don't know why it's beeping though. It beeps a lot. There we go. Gorgeous. How much do you think this costs for this taxi? I have no idea. Oh my God, I have no idea. Go on, surprise me. £140,000 for this car. Okay. <laughs> that's a house, isn't it? <laughs> it is a house, but, you know, it is the most luxurious taxi in the world. Well, actually, I'm not allowed to turn the light on because that'd be illegal because I haven't got a taxi license. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Are you from the church? Yeah, that one's there. That one there. <laughs> I haven't even got it then. Are you? I'm filming it. This is the camera. We don't it's have to put you on camera if you don't want to be. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's amazing. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen. I didn't even know taxis like that existed. I know, it's lovely. Maybe you could say a prayer for me that I could one day earn enough money to be able to afford to buy one of these. <laughs> <laughs> God works. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'd give you a lift, but. No, no, I'm literally, I can walk. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay, all right then, Take thank care. you very much. Seeing as no one actually wanted a lift, probably couldn't afford the fare to tell you the truth. I've decided to jump in the back myself and have a little go to see what it's like being a passenger in the world's poshest taxi. So one of the great things about this is that obviously I'm a massive celebrity and wherever I walk, I'm just swamped by paparazzi and all that kind of stuff, it's terrible. But in this, people just think it's a normal taxi driving around, they don't, like look through the windows or anything like that there's no suspicion raised whereas if i was in something like a big mercedes s-class limousine or something like that or rolls royce it would turn heads it's the great thing you see oh yeah look see anyone who drives a taxi <laughs> just loves to do random u-turns like that. <laughs> he can't help himself either and the good thing is that the driver is actually listening to everything i say and i don't have to listen to him at all until i allow him to speak to me so driver how are you finding it so far it's lovely certainly the poshest taxi in the world 
these seats are mighty comfortable and I can really stretch out. Plus, I'm enjoying watching this whale just float around there because yeah, I haven't managed to hook up the TV station while I'm driving, but th that's quite peaceful. Now we've got some, some sea lions. I do totally get it why someone might buy one of these. There is just so much space. It is really comfortable. It does feel very luxurious. There's something quirky and interesting about just being driven in it. It's a hybrid, so it's sort of, you know, woke. And I think that if you get your driver to get a taxi license, then you can drive in the London congestion charge free of charge and in the bus lanes. And that'd be brilliant. In fact, that's the reason to do it. That is a reason to have this car. You need to get through London quickly. You can just go down the bus lanes as long as the car is registered as a proper taxi. Obviously, you're not going to pick anyone up. What a great idea. Anyway, I'm going to jump back into the front now because I want to see if this taxi is any good if you need to do longer distances. Okay, let's try it then. So I've come to a section of dual carriageway. I need to overtake slow moving traffic. I'm doing 40, let's floor it. Pickup's all right. But how long does it take to get to 70? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Top speed is actually 80. But I don't know if you can notice this already. Quite a lot of wind noise. In fact, a large amount of wind noise. Very windy. Not great for long distances, but then you don't really want to take a taxi for a long distance because they cost an absolute fortune. That's why it doesn't matter with this because obviously you buy it and then you have a chauffeur drive you around and it's just for the lols because you're rich and you can afford it. Yeah, it's better at slower speeds. Oh, also accelerating that has really drained my battery. I might have to plug it in again, which means that I can't be earning money if I'm stood still charging the car. But once again, that doesn't matter because this is not a normal taxi, is it? Actually, if you'd like to see me drag race this new electric taxi, click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below to watch my crazy drag race fake taxi video. I've got to do this because I do this in every car. So I'm going to test this taxi out on a twisty road. See how it handles? I mean, it's not designed for driving fun, is it? It's designed for transporting people around, but you've got to make sure you can transport them around without sliding off the road. Oh, I do have to be quite careful. It does feel quite tall in the corner, so it leans a bit. And you are conscious that the front wheels are likely to let go of the road sooner than if you're in just a normal hatchback. Here we go again, let's try it. Kind of fun though. Whoa! Oh, it's pushing a bit wide there. That was a bit sketchy, but the stability control did help and it like break the car slightly to get it turning. So it'll do the job. Can't believe we're doing this. Whoa, whoa, wait. That's a tough corner, but it dealt with it okay. It dealt with it all right. Hopefully none of the passengers have been sick. Doesn't matter though, because actually, if there have been, there's a soiling charge anyhow. They'll have to pay to clean up the mess. This taxi is supposed to do 0 60 in 13.2 seconds. Let's see what the reality is. Should get good traction being rear wheel drive, so here we go. Steady takeaway. I suppose that means stress free passengers. Anyway, here we go. The numbers are building. What have we got? Ah, it's a bit quicker than I thought. 0 to 60, 12.9 seconds. Wow. So then, what's my final verdict on the Clive Sutton VIP taxi? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, let's be honest. Most people, most of the time, are going to just avoid this because why are you going to buy a taxi, especially one that's been heavily modified and costs loads of money? But if you're a rich person with loads of different cars and you want something completely unique, which can fly under the radar and it does feel special, buy one. Why not? It's nuts. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think of this taxi in the comments below. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to get a car way to sell your car. So you can sell your car now through car way. It's dead easy. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Thanks for watching.